Hi, thanks for watching my video. Today I'd like to make a brief tutorial video. What I would like to do is import all of these props from the level grid map, meaning these tracks and these shapes, these tubes, everything that you see here, and I want to import them into another level, and I'm going to show you how to do that. So the first thing you want to do is download a grid map. Any edited grid map level would be fine. In this case, this one's from 2015, but again, it's still fine. We just need a few files from it. So download that. And once you have it downloaded, which I have it right here, you want to open that up. And what we need is art, uh, a file labeled art. And inside ARP is shapes and these files here. The one, me personally, that I'm interested in is miscellaneous. You can see it has all these cube maps in it and the ramps and all that stuff. So again, download the file and go to art. Drag art to your desktop. And again, there's many ways of doing this. This is just my way. Uh, I like to keep things simple and fast. And let's rename it to something simple, art2. Now inside this file, let's get rid of this. Inside this file, is shapes and inside shapes is miscellaneous and that's what I want and there's a file in here that you need to edit which is the materials folder and pay attention to the date you can see it's November 8th of 2015 I use notepad plus plus to edit this as you can see I already had that open uh, let's see that's good Again, this is Notepad++, and you want to edit the Materials folder that's inside the grid map level. So drag that over here. And what you want to edit is this area right here. You have to change the path so it knows where to go to get all the shapes and colors and textures and all that stuff. You can see the one up here has buildings in it. That means it's going from grid map, art, shapes, buildings to get the material for that concrete. So I wouldn't touch that one. We're only interested in this one. So we want to highlight grid map and art. Now I'm using Notepad++. So you press Control H and this little menu will pop up, which you can see it's already in there because I've already done this. So you'd want to enter SSRB forward slash art two. Make sure that everything here is correct and hit replace all. You can see it replaced nine of them. And we just want to make absolutely sure that everything is correct. The spaces, the forward slash, everything's good. Let me check this one out. Yep, looks like everything's fine. So now we want to save this. So let's just go to file, save as, it should appear there. That's fine. So now we're just going to replace the materials folder. You can see the date, remember, November 8th. Let's just drag our new one over there. It should update the, the date. Yeah, 2-5. Okay, so we know that's correct. So now we have our new art folder. And again, I only need miscellaneous. But if you, for example, needed ground cover, you would just find the materials folder in here or if you need the buildings there's your materials folder you would just open up your notepad and drag it over there <coughs> and just change this little line right here grid map art hit control H and change that to SSRB Art 2, replace all. Check carefully to make sure everything was done correctly. And then save it to your desktop and drag it over and replace that materials. And then you would have everything in here in whatever level you decide to drag it to. But anyways, next step is to replace our Art 2 or place our Art 2 folder in the level that we want it in. In this case, it happens to be SSRB is what I'm going to be messing with uh, in the next couple of days here. We'll go to Mods, <coughs> SSRB, Levels, SSRB, and you would take your Art 2's folder and drop it there, which I've already done. And that's it.
that's pretty much it. So now we'd want to go into uh, BeamMG. So here we are in the level SSRB. These are all the props that I've imported from GridMap. As you can see, I've already been busy uh, modifying this level. And uh, I want to take a moment now and show you how to get all these shapes on the level. So the first thing you want to do is press F11 to bring up the world editor. Let me uh, get out of that. So press F11, bring up the world editor. And the two things that you're going to need is going to be go to Tools and click on Asset Browser. And that will bring this up right here. I just drag it up there and drop it. And the other thing you're going to need is going to be, you don't really need it right now. What I'm telling you is the inspector, but it's always good. The three windows I have is Scene Tree, Asset Browser, and the inspector. So let's get rid of this shape right here. To, to import the images or the, the props, click on your Asset Browser. Let's start from the beginning here. We'll go to so you're at SSRB and you want to go to remember our folder's name was art2 and shapes and miscellaneous and there's our large stuff right where we put it remember SSRB art2 shapes and miscellaneous and we changed the file uh, in Notepad plus plus we we changed it to SSRB art2 so if you want something, you see whatever you like here, you just grab it and drag it over there. That's it. Drag it, drag it over there. And um, and that's how you get your, your props from one level to the other. And if you, if you ever drop it here, get a car and drive it into it and your car goes right through it, come over here and look at collision mesh. If it does that, change it to visible mesh, visible mesh. Hit control S, save it and drive your car into it again. It should become a solid solid object. Also, you can click up here on dynamic, um, and that will also change it to a solid. Just mess around, and um, eventually you'll get it to become a solid object. I don't know why it does that, but just another one of those little things. Um, I just While I'm here, I'll give you a brief, quick tutorial. Let's say you want to make a road. Um, we'll make the width of the road 5. The depth will make it one <clears throat> press enter press your alt button down make your road now you want to give your road a texture and side and top bottoms you come over here to your your inspector and you come down here where it says mesh road material you got top bottom we'll go to top these are some of your your road materials and your bottom material you can make that anything and for the side again you can make it for it depends on whether it's going to be seen by people or not but I always like to use this flag material I think that looks really cool and if you click on the object select you can move it around and if you want to make the road very long like I do with some of the I like to make stuff go fast like jets and stuff like that and just drag it as far as you want you can come over here and drag it you can come over here and you can change the width and thickness of the roads right here decrease um, and that's pretty much it one thing about that I do want to get into with this um, SSRB level is I want to change it to I want to start doing crash scenes at night and doing things with like lighting um, spotlights and stuff like that I think that would be really cool and as you look at this arch that I built right here I put small lights uh, in between it and made them pulsate and that's got a really cool effect to it so I was thinking about like Putting some walls right here and 
sh shining spotlights down on there and having the truck crash at night and stuff like that with these pulsating lights. I'm going to light up the, uh, the BMMG logo. And uh, I'm going I'm to add sound to this level as well. I think like ocean breeze and seagulls and stuff like that I think would sound really cool. Um, and just a spoiler alert for my next video that I'm working on. It's going to have some really awesome explosions. I did a, one of the biggest, most complex scenes I've ever done uh, in BMMG. That will be coming up in my next video. And I'm going to take this, this tube down here and I'm going to make about 20 of them or maybe 10. And I'm going to put uh, the jet-powered rockets in there, the JADO-powered rockets, the, the buses, and make it into a multiple rocket launch system. But I'm going to use buses, obviously, instead of rockets. And I'm going to launch like 20 buses out of there, just like an MLRS system in the military. It's going to be really cool. i got to figure out how I'm going to do it, though. So anyways, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. If you have any uh, questions about how to do anything here, just leave it down in the comments, and I'll answer as fast as I can. Take care. Bye.